So today I am going to be showing you how to cook steak in um, the most like basic way possible. We're not going to use a whole lot of seasonings. Um, we're not going to do a whole lot to the steak. We're just searing it in a pan and then we're going to baste it with butter. If you were going to grill it, the same times would apply and the same temperatures would apply. Um, you just, you know, would be like painting it with butter if you wanted to do a butter baste. But it, I think it's so easy to make it in a pan, um, but it's really simple. We're just going to sear the steak on each, both sides. Um, I put some butter in a pan with some garlic and if you have any fresh herbs, you can use fresh herbs as well. Um, but it's really simple and it's a great way to get your steak absolutely perfect every time. Okay, so first things first, let's get this out of the way. I like rare steak. This, the way that I cook this in this video makes the steak really rare. And um, if you don't like that, that's totally fine. Just cook it longer. That's it. Um, if you like it well done, I cook mine two minutes per side per inch. Um, if you like your steak well done, you might want to do three to four minutes per side. Uh, it just depends on what you like. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about seasoning. So I'm doing just really super basic seasoning. I am drying off my steak and then I am seasoning it with just salt and pepper. Um, you could add garlic powder, onion powder, um, paprika, cayenne, anything you wanted to, Worcestershire, liquid smoke, um, whatever you want, just do it how you like. But this is just a super basic way. You want to make sure that you use plenty of seasonings. Uh, it's going to come off on the pan and that kind of thing. So you want to add more than you think you need. You're going to cook it two minutes per side per inch of meat. Um, this was a I thought it was about an inch and so I only did it two minutes per side and it came out pretty rare as you saw from the beginning um, but I enjoyed it it was delicious uh, I probably if I was gonna do it again I probably would have done three minutes because um, it was like about an inch and a half so once the steak is all cooked this only took about you know five minutes total I kind of took my heat my I turned my heat down I'm scraping the pan to get um, those burnt bits on and uh, to make sure that like the pan you know, like all of the juices, all of the fat, all of the stuff is going to mix in with the butter. And you want to let your butter, you want to let your pan cool down a little bit more before you add your butter. Um, anyways, so add your butter, let it get melted. And I used a pretty big hunk of butter. It was a big steak and I added in some garlic as well. If you had some fresh herbs like thyme or rosemary, this would be the spot. This would be the time to add them. So now I'm putting my steak back in. And I'm going to do a butter base. So I'm just going to take a spoon. I'm going to um, scoop it into the butter. And I am going to pour that over the top of the butter. Uh, or, oh my gosh. Over <laughs> the top of the steak. And I did this for five minutes. Uh, this part is a little bit tedious. It, you know, if you had uh, herbs and things, you would probably want to put that on top of the steak and baste it that way. But, you know, I didn't have any fresh herbs, so I'm just doing this with butter and garlic. Um, anyways, it's oh, this part is a little bit tedious, but it gives the steak like a really nice crust. And you're essentially kind of basting it in its own fat uh, because there's a ton of, you know, fat in there. Then you want to let it rest. And um, you want to make sure you let it rest for a while because that's going to, uh, you know, seal in the juices. That's what the cooking gurus say. Um, and then I sliced it up so that you could see the inside um, of the steak. And like I said, it is pretty rare, but it was a good steak. <laughs> but that's it. If you want to see more recipes, be sure to check out Loaves and Dishes and subscribe to our channel. Please don't cry while I'm making you a video, please. Thank you, Goose. Thanks. You can go outside with Billy. You can get to the door if you want.